Good evening. I am back here again in my side yard and I'm going to add some of the ranunculus corms that I started soaking. It was earlier today. I did decide to get out and plant those. Um, so I have mixed colors of ranunculus corms and I'm just going to plant them all along this. Um, this is the north side of our garden. This north fence line gets sun all day long. Um, and I have gladiolus here. I just planted more. And it's just going to be a really colorful area. So I'm going to work on this and then I'm going to go up to my orchard area where I'm going to put the Paris and Spring collection of the anemone and ranunculus. And I also have three stargazer lilies that I'm going to add somewhere. Um, I do have some of them on the side of the house here on this side over here. And I do have some scattered around. Uh, so I think, and they're doing well. So I think I'm going to add some more. Um, I do have three more. I know I want to add in the front of the house, but I have a three pack. I'm going to go around and see where the, the mood strikes me and plant them there. So I'm going to get started on the ranunculus corms that I have pre-soaked and gotten ready to plant on this side. thing about ranunculus and anemone are that they come totally dried out and it's hard to believe that it's going to grow into a beautiful plant but it will so this is an anemone corm and this is a ranunculus corm so this is a mixture this one is the paris and spring collection I'll pop a picture of it up on the screen here. It's really beautiful. Um, so what I'm gonna do, they need to be rehydrated for at least a few hours. Okay, I have another box of these. Put them here. So I planted a lot of my orchard yesterday, or the day before. Gotta get these going, so set those aside. The mixed ranunculus. These are all different colors of ranunculus. And as you can see, the corms are these funny little octopus looking things. So. I am gonna use filtered water for these. not the water that has salts or chlorines in it. So. Get them up. They don't need a lot of water. Just enough to cover them all. You could do this in any kind of a container. You do not have to use a Ziploc bag. I just find that this way I don't knock it over. It doesn't leak. And then I can carry it fairly easily to where I want to plant it. Thanks. There we go. All ready to go. Okay, these are the ranunculus corms that we started soaking earlier today. They were absolutely tiny uh, when we started them, and they're still pretty tiny. Uh, but they're quite a bit more oopsie do hydrated. Um, they're the water has soaked into these tubers, and I'm gonna plant them with the tubers facing down. And this is where the old stem came out, that facing up. So I have a whole bag of them to do. I already did fertilizer in this area yesterday, so I'm just going to get to planting these. I like to try to add 
add some in here. So we don't really need it. It's already too much going on here. Down here. This area has a lot of space, so I'm going to plant a lot of them. So you take the corms, tuber side down, and they only need to go about two inches below the soil surface, one to two inches, um, and then cover them up. So let me find another spot here. I'm trying to find the emitters. Here's an irrigation emitter right here. So. Weeds, clear a little space, take a few of the corms, put them in here. That goes. Corm tuber down. The tubers are pointing down. Kind of hard to see in there. And then I'm going to just cover them up. There. Okay. Clear a little space. About inch and a half, two inches down. Place the corms in there. It's kind of hard to see because they get covered in our dust the minute I plant them. But the tubers are facing down. Cover them up. I have no idea if this is going to work or not, but I figure I may as well use the ivy. All the gladiolas flop way over. I think it's because they were seeking the light when I've had um, sunflowers here before they did the same thing. So I took some ivy and tied little supports around it because uh, there isn't anything else that's growing up through here where it's growing up through... The peppermint pelagonium it's standing up better there's some right here there's some right there on the end so i'm going to try to kind of tuck them all back in because they're so pretty but you don't see them when they're facing down okay i have these stargazer lilies plant them four to six inches deep i think i'll put some in here i have one over there and i have some more somewhere along in here so having a few more kind of in the central area, I think would be cool. I used to have white gladiolas in here. I think I go forgot them all. So we'll go right in that area. Some opportunity there. There is a stargazer lily bulb. You can see how it's starting to sprout here on the end. So that end is going to go up. We just have the sand. It's so easy to dig in. It's easier than finding the shovel. Let's go. Okay, we are in the orchard and it's starting to get dark, but it's such a beautiful time of evening. Let's get out here and get this finished. Just going to try to find some spots along the irrigation lines where we don't have anything else planted. Here we go. This is the Paris and Spring collection. It has ranunculus. I believe it's the porcelain ranunculus. This is a ranunculus corm. This is an anemone corm. So this to me looks like the bottom. This looks like the top. I could be wrong. Let's take another look. They are just kind of lumpy. 
Hard to tell what's going on. Hmm. I think I'm going to err on this side, pointing, having this pointing up. I could be planting them completely upside down, though. But this looks like roots to me. And this looks like an old flower stalk came out. Okay, I'm going to go with that. So my plan is to move all of these strawberries into the green tower so that we can avoid things like this. That's what happens if we leave them here. I accidentally dug these or pulled these three strawberries up and they have some roots. I'm going to try putting them in the green stock tower and see if they'll bounce. This our green stock. Just put that there for now. Um, you can bury it fairly high up. And I want to go back in to the green stock a little bit because that's where the water comes out. Let's see, this one has a runner. This is how strawberries spread by runners. They send out from the mother plant another plant. So maybe I'll put this in two pockets right here. Then I'm going to go back pretty far in. Well, I guess I'll go this way with it because that's the side that's coming off of. And I'm going to water this all in. And lastly, goodness. All right, one more here. Okay, go get the watering going. That's going to do it for me for today. I got the anemone and ranunculus planted. I had pre-soaked the corms, so um, I could have left them, you know, in the bags, drained most of the water out and left them in the bags for overnight and done it tomorrow, but it was a really pretty evening out here, so I wanted to get outside and what better to do than to do a little bit of weeding and planting. <laughs> um, so that's uh, going to be it for me for today, though, and I will catch up with you next time. Bye-bye.